Okay, when you're ready. Keep... What? Tell, whenever you're ready. Remember, keep your cheek on it, bud. Your cheek, your cheek has to be into the gun. Can't be not touching. Bullseye! How do you know? Because I see it in my binoculars. Come on, let's go take a look. That's all. Wait. <laughs> Well, Nathaniel's probably pretty proud. He outshot his sisters. Only his second time shooting. And uh, he hit the bullseye only an inch from the center. And the girls didn't hit the bullseye this time. But they were pretty close, killing shots for sure. But uh, we'll see what happens come youth season, which is this Saturday. Hopefully uh, we can knock one or two down. Should be interesting taking Should be interesting taking uh, three people, um, three kids hunting. But we'll give it our best shot and hopefully it works out. Big sister trying to help little brother get ready. Aw, so cute. These are birds.
She was literally right there, Dad, bud. There's no way. I couldn't even. I can't even see your body. He was. He had his gun all tilted and stuff. I'm headed out to the public hunting spot here in Michigan. Why I'm headed out there, I just wanted to close out my uh, kids' 2020 youth hunt. That was kind of a bummer, but as you can see at the end, my daughter, she shot at that doe and it went running off and we weren't really sure what happened. Of course, I didn't get it really on video. You could just see it kind of blur in the background, but I felt like at that point I was, I should concentrate more on helping my daughter and my boy for that matter than uh, worried about getting it on video. 
Uh, it's more important to me at this point that they get a deer. So she shot, we weren't sure what happened. So there was a field kind of off to our south that um, before it got dark, I figured we'd go check just for my boy. So we got up and started heading over there. As we got close, I saw a doe and a, and a uh, fawn and they were just kind of milling there. Well, we tried to get set up and of course she saw us. She wasn't sure what was going on, but um, my boy, uh, I was trying to get him in position and she's kind of looking at us, wondering what's going on. And of course her fawn is kind of right near her. And so I get him on target, you know, get him on the rest and get him aiming. And I'm like, um, you know, when you're on her, take the shot. Some people walking by, so I turn the camera off and let them walk by. But anyway, so I tell my boy, you know, if you're on him, shoot. So he fires and when he shoots, the fawn in the background just falls right to the ground. He nailed, missed the mom, which was he was supposed to be aiming at, nailed the fawn that was standing right next to her. I don't know if he was aiming at the wrong one or what happened, but anyway, he drops the fawn in its tracks. We're wondering what in the world just happened, but uh, we were kind of chuckling and I'll be honest with you, obviously I'd never have him intentionally shoot a fawn, but you know what? They got him hooked on hunting. So if shooting a fawn is all it took for him to get hooked on hunting, um, I'm more than happy to uh, sacrifice the life of a fawn to do that. So anyway, his dropped right in his track, so we thought, well, we'll just leave that. Let's go see if she hit the other deer. So we went and um, I just kind of started walking down the trail that I thought it was on. And uh, about 80 yards into it, also I started finding some blood and uh, it had some bubbles in it. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So. We tracked it for probably 150 yards and it took us probably a good half hour, 45 minutes. I was obviously by myself in the tracking job and they were just kind of standing there. But uh, we found that crazy thing. That deer was probably 90 yards away and uh, she was offhand and shot that thing high lung and uh, nailed it and got it. And one thing that's not original to me, for, for those of you who might watch this video and are taking your kids youth hunting and wondering what kind of gun you should have them shoot we can't use rifle here we have to use you know shotgun or muzzle or something like that so i got this from the juries what i have done because i saw them do this and it worked on some bigger bucks than what we've shot uh, they would put for taylor they would put 50 grains of pyrodex in it and uh that was it and honestly um she sh we've shot three deer, well now four deer, but three <laughs> legitimate deer with uh, this one Pyrodex uh, pellet system. And we've retrieved all three. And uh, a couple of them were 90 yards when they shot. I wouldn't push it past that, I'll tell you that, but um, for 90 yards, they sure did a number on them. So we ended up getting both the deer and we were pretty excited about it. But uh, like I said, I didn't really want to um, well, I wanted to, but I was more concerned about them getting a deer than I was videoing it. So that's what we ended up doing. But uh, now here we are on October 8th. I'm headed back into some public property and I'm hoping that uh, I get a crack at a buck, a good buck. I'm gonna be so far back, honestly, it better be a good buck. I'm gonna have to drag the crazy thing out. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a reminder to hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, share it with your uh, hunting buds. And my hope is that by the end of tonight, I will have created another video of me running an arrow through a nice mature public land buck here in Michigan. Don't make that much color. How about that? Isabella and Nathaniel both shoot a deer and somebody puts off fireworks for them. Yeah.